Can Ghana save the winter crisis in Europe? The European Union is preparing for an energy crisis this winter as countries become more dependent on natural gas to power enterprises and heat homes while they make attempts to stop using coal. Liquefied natural gas LNG markets around the world are likely to be impacted by the developing EU energy crisis, which was sparked by an increase in gas demand because of the cold weather. Even though Europe has experienced frigid winters before, this time there is not enough gas to support the post-pandemic recovery and replenish depleted reserves prior to the cold months. As a result, nations are competing with one another for supplies, and exporters like Russia and Norway are making efforts to keep more natural gas at home. Many market observers believe that this will make the crisis worse when the weather eventually cools. Governments have issued warnings about blackouts and forced factory closures as a result of the crisis, which has significant repercussions for the rest of the world, including Ukraine. Hello there, welcome. Please do us a favor by liking this video so that our channel will grow and we will be able to bring you more amazing and informative videos. Given that Ghana has included liquefied natural gas in its fuel mix for power generation this year, a spike in global LNG market prices could have an impact on the price of power production in Ghana. The Tama LNG regasification project's ability to contribute to the fuel supply for thermal plants depends on whether it is operationalized soon, according to the Institute for Energy Security IES. This is due to the fact that the plant will likely have to buy liquefied natural gas at a significantly higher price from the global market. Since the natural gas needs of the thermal plants are predicated on supply from Nigeria and Ghana, the EU issue will have little effect on power plants. The Jubilee, Ten, and Sankofa fields already supply enough domestic natural gas, according to Executive Director Nana Amosi II. Inventory levels in European storage facilities are already lower than they've ever been at this time of year. The business standard, for instance, states that pipeline flows from Russia and Norway have been restricted. That is concerning because calmer weather has decreased the output of wind turbines, and older nuclear plants in Europe are being phased out or are more likely to experience outages, which makes gas even more necessary. Ursula von der Leyen president of the European Commission, claims that the region is overly dependent on gas and that as gas prices rocket to record high levels, members are finding it difficult to keep up with the rising cost. Therefore, von der Leyen has emphasized the necessity for a green deal and pushed EU nations to reduce their reliance on natural gas. Faster adoption of sustainable energy will also increase the bloc's global competitiveness, according to von der Leyen. She argued before the European Parliament that the bloc's reliance on imported gas, a large portion of which comes from Russia, makes it weak. Today, gas import dependence is too high in Europe. The EU president claims that diversifying our suppliers and, most importantly, accelerating the transition to sustainable energy are the answers. The EU's Green Deal seeks to achieve carbon neutrality for the entire continent by 2050 and a 55% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. Ghana's thermal, hydroelectric, and LNG resources are enough to help and save the winter crisis in Europe. In 2020, 62.7% of the generation was thermal, 37% was hydro, and 0.3% was imported. The government will need to take two actions to diversify its mix by accelerating the energy transition process, according to this example. Hope can be found in the abundance of renewable energy sources like water, sun, and wind found in Ghana. But political commitment and willpower are more important if Ghana is to avoid the errors made by the EU and the predicament the bloc finds itself in today. Although Ghana and the rest of Sub-Saharan Africa currently seem to be insulated from the crisis, this is not the case. As long as gas prices remain high, the crisis effects will eventually be felt throughout the continent. Most European power plants would very probably switch to liquid fuels to provide electricity if gas becomes more difficult to obtain and expensive to purchase, which would cause them to rely on Ghana in particular and Africa in general. 
Currently, petroleum prices are rising, and an increase in demand would make the continent's recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic impossible. At the gas station, Ghanaians would experience a more significant impact, particularly drivers. This is because the IES anticipates a rise in fuel prices as a result of the EU market crisis. The conventional relationship between the price of oil and natural gas still holds true. A shortage of natural gas in Europe would force power producers to turn to oil as a less expensive fuel source for plants, which would increase oil's demand and price, in addition to the fact that oil indexation continues to be the primary mechanism for international gas trade, according to Nana Amosi too. Rising crude prices will have an influence on gas prices. The opinions of Nana Amosi, too, do not stand alone. The demand for crude oil is already expected to rise by between 370,000 and 500,000 barrels per day throughout the winter, according to Vital and OPEC+. Plus. Ghana on her own will not be able to save the winter crisis as the demand for gas by the EU is too high. A fallback on Africa will automatically drain the sources of gas, thereby causing a heavy inflation rate on the prices of gas and also general shortage. If you find the video interesting, do not hesitate to like, share and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more great content. Do not forget to turn on the notification button to get alerts of our new videos.